The launch bar tool that I use is called Alfred. If you just search for Alfred app, it should be the first thing to pop up. There it is. We are going to go ahead and download it. It saves me tons of time. It does a lot of little things, but frequently. So that's always where you save the most time. It's in the little things you do all the time. Go ahead and drag that over to applications. All right, I think it's worth buying the power pack. Most of what I'm gonna show you uses the power pack. So go for it. I'm just gonna go ahead and do this off the recording and then I'll turn the recording back on. So you can figure this out yourself. This is really important. Make sure you go through these steps and give Alfred access to your computer. So first, the essential workhorse process for Alfred is simply pressing option and the space bar at the same time. You get this bar, this is where most of the magic takes place. It just pops up a little bar, but from this bar, you can do any number of things that save you tons of time. So for instance, you can look for files, find, right? And then you can, when you find the file or the folder that you're looking for, if you press arrow key to the right, it gives you all these different options. And it takes a little bit of time to build the habit of using this, but once you do, it makes what would have been a 20 second task, a three second task. And when you're working every day, that adds up pretty rapidly. One of the functions in Alfred that I love the most, that I use all of the time is the clipboard manager. It's really useful, but you have to turn it on in the preferences for it to work. So we can access the preferences in Alfred through Alfred, just by searching preferences. Go ahead and click show Alfred preferences. And this is what it will look like. There's a lot I could walk you through in these preferences, but I'm gonna start with what's most important, I think. If you go to features and then navigate down to clipboard history, I think this, this is one of the quickest, easiest wins to really start improving your workflows. All you have to do is turn these on. Keep plain text, keep images, and keep file lists. I like to set them to the max. It just means it's going to keep a history of everything you save using, you know, command C or copy. It'll save it and make it retrievable for you in the future. This will take some data on your computer, but it's not that much. And I think it's worth it. This all can be left as defaults. Although you may want to turn this one on, whether or not you want it to add to your clipboard what you save on other devices. Depending on how you use other devices, this might overwhelm it, but frankly, I think you wanna leave this on because it can't hurt to just have extra data from all of your saves and copies from other devices. Also, another really useful thing is merging. I do use this and I think it's very powerful. It allows you to merge, obviously, different clipboard items and you need to click this, fast append, select a text. There are two options here I'd like to change. First, you do wanna click this, place merged text back into macOS clipboard. This just means that you're able to, when you're done building a list of something, you're able to paste it just by clicking paste. And also I like to change this to new line, simply because for most use cases I find that you want each item on its own line. All right, now we're good to go on that. Pretty much if you want a new item that you're saving to the clipboard to be merged with the previous item in the clipboard, you just have to press command CC. Press C twice in a row while holding command and it's going to merge what you're currently copying 
into whatever you copied last. So this is really useful for building lists of things, essentially. And yeah, that's really, really important. I'll show you how to do that in more detail in a minute. All of the rest, I think you will like to keep the default options, so that's fine. Okay, so now we'll give it a test drive. To see the clipboard history of everything you've ever copied within you know the past few weeks or months, you have to press Option Command C. Right now it's empty because I haven't used it yet. So let's copy, for instance, the URL to the Alfred app. I'm just going to press Command C. And then let's copy something else. I'm working on a bibliography at the moment. Here is a citation for Kant's perpetual peace. I'll copy that. Perhaps I want to remember to double check the accuracy of the data. I'm just fishing for examples here. I'll copy that. All right, so I'm copying a bunch of things. Now I press Option Command C, and lo and behold, I now can retrieve all of those things instead of just the last thing that I copied. This comes in handy in a serious way whenever you're dealing with any bits of text that you use frequently over and over again. Pretty much you can draw on them here. So that's a quick and easy win. But let's also talk about the merge function. So let's say you're building a list of quotes, just to use as a random example. You could copy them like this in a normal way. Okay, Command C, copy that. Command C, copy this. You know, Command C, copy this. And then go to a text file and manually go to your clipboard manager and click this one and then click this one and then click this one. But that's multiple tasks, right? It's a bit annoying. Instead, what you can just do is build the list by merging each copy every time you click Command C, merging that into one item that then can be pasted quite rapidly. Okay, so watch, check it out. Copy that normally, just Command C. But now I'll start using Command CC. Notice it gives you a sound to let you know that it's worked. All right. Now, if you want to go and paste it, watch. Every item is on its own line. You might want to add a space if you need to for your use case, but otherwise, it's pretty much all laid out for you. Okay? So again, there are a lot of tasks for which this will save you a tremendous amount of time. Here's another function I use all the time, which is really useful. Go over to Features, and then go to Dictionary, and this option here, which is not set by default, Paste Word on Action, click that. What that will do is whenever you check the spelling of a word in Alfred, you can simply hit enter when you find the word and it will paste the word for you. So let's say that you're writing a document and you go to write a word, but you're not sure about the spelling. Maybe you want to say this is a cornucopia, but you're not sure, right? So normally you'd have to look it up. It takes a long time. But what you can do with Alfred is you just call up Alfred, you type spell, and then do your best to guess cornucopia. All right. It pops up. You can see that's clearly the word. And now all you have to do is hit enter and it will paste it in for you. Okay, that's not a default option, but it's really useful. The downside is it probably atrophies your capacity to spell by memory, but it's so useful that I think it's worth it.